Rashid, this will be your first NCAA tournament. Uh, what are your thoughts going in? Uh, I'm just very excited. Uh, as a kid, I always watch, you know, March Madness time, uh, you know, all the brackets and everything like that. So uh, it's the most exciting time of the year. Uh, anything can happen. And, you know, uh, we've been preparing very well. And, you know, I'm just really excited. What does it mean to you to be back in the starting lineup? Uh, you know, it's, I mean, it feels good. But, you know, at the same time, I just got to bring it uh, each and every game, whether I'm in the starting lineup or whether I'm coming off the bench. Uh, I just have to do what they need me to do. And, um, you know, there's no second chances now. So whatever they need me to do, I just got to go in there and do it, whether I'm with the first unit or the second unit. When did you find out you were going back in the starting lineup? Uh, this week in practice. Speaking of doing what it takes, um, Duke has struggled a little bit with bigger guards. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're going to try to use you mm -hmm. in that. In that. Uh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, you know, um, I'm the third perimeter guy in the first unit right now, and I'm also the tallest uh, perimeter uh, guard that they have. So, you know, I'm going to get a lot of those matchups, and you know, I'm ready for it. And uh, you know, I'm a lot, a lot of my success with guarding. Um, bigger guards is going to come from my trust um, from the other four guys on the court. So, uh, you know, we've been working on our defense and our communication, and, you know, I'm very confident where, where we're at right now on the defensive side. When you think back to some of the toughest defensive assignments you've had, what, does anyone come to mind in particular? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of guys that, uh, especially at the guard position, that are great in this league. Uh, Durant Scott, Shane Larkin, Joe Harris. Um, you know, uh, Reggie Bullock, P.J. Harrison, I mean, the list goes on and on. Eric Green, and, um, you know, with the, with guys like that, uh, you know, it's very hard to stop them. You, you just have to do your best to contain them. And, and just going back to the trust and the rest of my teammates that have my back uh, when I do get beat or, um, you know, I'm out of position. How much have you been asking around and talking to guys about what the March environment is actually like versus just seeing what comes? I mean, um, you know, just listening to our seniors and really all of our upperclassmen that have been there, and um, you know, they're just telling me, you know, it's it's, it's a different animal, and uh, you know, everybody is desperate to win. Um, there's no second chances. It's it's winner go home, and um, you know, everybody is uh, really focused, and you know, it just raises everyone level level of uh, their game, and you know, I'm just gonna go in there and try to you know play as hard as I can, and on each and every possession, uh, because every possession matters. How did you take it when you were told you weren't going to start anymore during that, that stretch, and kind of how did you work through it? Um, you know, I was having a bad stretch uh, a little bit, those two couple games or whatever. Um, you know, uh, it was just something that I just had to, uh, you know, sit back and, you know, just reflect on, you know, what I did wrong in those games, and just to come back strong, um, you know, in the next game, which was the Maryland game, and. Uh, just to get my confidence back and, you know, just to play my game. Um, trust my instincts and, you know, just always try to make the right play. Don't try to force or uh, overpass. And, you know, if I have my shot taken and if there's a man open, you know, give him the ball just to always make the right play and just trust my instincts. During that stretch, for the first time all season, it looked like maybe some things were frustrating you and we were letting it get to you a little bit. Um, Coaches talked about moving on to the next play. How are you able to get back into that mindset? Because it showed that in Maryland that you were able to do that and uh, refocus. How are you able to get back to that? It mindset? just comes all down to winning. Uh, I can't worry about what I'm going through. Um, you know, uh, if I make a mistake, uh, so be it. I have to do something on the uh, on the next possession to uh, try to redeem myself. Uh, just anything I can do to to win. So um, if I make a couple of mistakes here and there. I just have to flush it because uh, I can't let mistakes pile up on top of each other. So uh, that's the main thing that the coaches and you know, my team has told me. And, you know, they made a lot of sense. So, you know, at the end of the day, all I want to do is win. So I don't really care about my stats as long as we get the win at the end of the day.